What's up YouTube, Dazwa Beats, back with another video. If this is your first time to the channel, as always, welcome. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit that notification button to get notified whenever I drop some heat, all right? Yesterday, went out, and I went, not went out, went to PluginBoutique.com. First of all, this video is not sponsored by nobody, all right? So, went out. I keep saying went out. I ain't go nowhere. I went online to Plugin Boutique and bought Scalar 2. Scalar 1 was out there and I looked at it. I think I used it like one time, but the MPC at that time couldn't send send um notes to another track. But in the 2.8, now you can send you know send sounds to different tracks right so i was like let me get um scalar 2 and see what's going on went to plugin boutique bought scalar 2 and listen this thing i don't think i can make another beat without using scalar well i can but i'm gonna be using scalar 2 for a minute right now because if you don't know music theory which I don't, I don't claim to know it. I don't claim to, you know what I mean? Know a little bit, but not that much. This, if you don't know music theory and you was trying to make beats and you wanted to do progressions and chords and all that stuff, before you was sitting on the bench or you was not you was on the practice squad. Now, Scalar 2, without no music theory knowledge, puts you in the game. You're in the game with Scalar 2 because this thing is vicious. I ain't being sponsored or none of that, but listen. Scalar 2 in the MPC. That's it, man. All right. So let's get it. I'm going to show you. I'm going to pull it up and we're going to work. Show you a little bit of stuff that I, that I figured out on my own and just by messing with it. And yeah let's get it all right one more thing if you hear me stumble on some of my words it's because i'm jamaican patois is a form of english but sometimes when i start talking fast my jamaican accent want to come out so i have to stop think and then go again all right so let's get it all right <sighs> all right youtube so now let's pull up scalar right here all right so this thing is crazy 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 all right what we gonna start on is the detect you can detect whatever whatever chord you playing whatever note you playing you just hit the record button and it de detects whatever scale or whatever note you play right so detect is okay because the m the mpc have the pad perform mode so if we go to let's go to the pad perform mode right let me move this see if you can see so right here we in the pad perform mode but let's go to progression so if we play let's say the e major right let's do e major and if we hit record it plays it right just one button on the pad it plays it all right so we know all that we know all that that's fine so we don't need this part of scalar right now right so let's clear that now in here inside the scales you can go ahead, pick any scale you want, C, whatever, blah, 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 right? So what I was on, E? All right, let's go to E. And in here, you can select any one of these scales. There's a whole lot of them, right? So let's just pick, uh, it don't matter. Let's pick that one. Let me open it up so you can see it better move it over a little bit all right so right here this is where scalar blew my mind 
right you can actually have scalar link to the npc so once you press play from start on the npc it automatically plays these for you and then you can just go ahead and add anything else that you want all right but i'm gonna leave that for a little bit later i'm gonna go back to that right so in here in scalar we go we go to the e let's say we bind this so over here this little button right here bind what binds mean what bind means if you click it you just play one note see all these four grayed out so if you play the c2 hold on where the c2 all right so if you play the c2 on your keyboard it, it automatically gives you the chord similar to the the pad perform mode right So that's 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 one part that I like about it. So in the previous version of Scalar, if you played this, it wouldn't give you the actual chord when you're ready to drag it and drop it here. In the new Scalar, you go to MIDI capture. If you're in MIDI capture, see now anything I play, if I play one note, just one note, is going to capture it. All right, until I stop. So let's go, let's do. All right, then I hit stop. Now once I drag this and drop it on the MPC, let's send it to, to um, sequence two, all right? So now let's go to sequence two, the scalar stuff. Let's go to the program. Let's make it. That's what I just played. It gave us every note that we played in the rhythm, in the, the path, and everything that I played, right? So I'll copy this. Control A, Control C. And just bring it back to sequence one. Bring it back to sequence one and just copy it there, right? Now it was off key, off, you know, it wasn't quantized, it was off because I wasn't going with the metronome or whatever. I was just playing the notes. So this is what everything that I played. Let's play. so and then we can just switch scalar out and put whatever VST we like put whatever let's say the Korg let's do the Triton yes let's replace it uh, no let's just use a new program So that's just an example. I'm just giving you an example. The sound name, you know, I'm not looking for a sound. I'm just, just whatever. All right. So now let's bring Scalar back up. So that's one, one, one part of Scalar that I really like. The, the actual, um, the actual capture the MIDI. This part, I like that part. The capture in the MIDI, that's one part, right? Now, since I like I like this right here, we can go to um change the the sound. Scalar came with a lot of different sounds, so in here we can switch it whatever we like. Grand piano, let's play it. change it to let's say a synth whatever let's just play all right so now this thing just blow my mind there's so much that I want to show y'all 
I'm just trying to think about it and, you know, trying to get back to what I need, what I'm trying to show y'all. All right. So inside the performance, here we go. Inside the performance, now you can add top melodies, top melody to your progression, right? So let's go to here. Let's just pick anyone. And then when we hit play. So this is just the test, so don't don't worry about the sound. I'm just showing y'all what it can do. But if you're taking your time and you add your right sounds, the sounds that you want, and add your right sounds, it's fine. So don't worry about the sound. Just worry about what it can do, right? Let's go. So if I press one button, one, I said button. If I press one key... I have the bind on right so if I take the bind off see that now let's put the bind back on all right so the perform the perform part in scalar love it all right so that's the second thing I wanted to show y'all now remember that that when I said you can have scalar um, linked to your DAW or link to the MPC when you come and you go to um uh when you go to the edit so let's bring let's bring let's bring some of these down this down this down this down all right let's delete this bring scalar back up All right, so now this is our. Let's take performance off. All right, so if we go into the edit right here, at edit, let's go into edit. This part right here, the edit section of Scalar 2 is. That is mind blowing, yo. Listen, this right here. All right, so let's 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 attach it to our DAW, right? So the play button, all you do is right click it. Now it's attached. You see the play button switch. So if I hit play from start, remember I don't have no MIDI notes inside my MPC. Is no MIDI notes there. Now it's gonna play this right here. So if I hit play from start. On my MPC, watch this. All right, so you notice it didn't play the whole thing out. So what you could do is you go to settings right here and change it. Hold on, let me open it up. I can't see. So see, it's only on two be two beats. I'm guessing is the two um two bars. So let's change it to eight. Let's play from start again. We change it to eight. Let's play from start. Y'all see that? stop it right now you can even go further than this inside the edit right here we can change the octave we can change the inversions we can change the semitone now you can click now you can click um, the playback timing you can put the um, click the playback performance this 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 edit 
edit section is crazy. So say we want to do the performance, all right? So say we want to make this first one, all right? Expression. Then we want to make this one repeat, right? But then we want this to play half. So it played twice, one time, but boom, boom, right? And then say we want this one to do arpeggio and this one to just whatever. Let's do another expression and change it. All right. Now let's just hit play from start and see what happened. So it's so much more and then I'll, I'll bring you back to another um, video but this video is getting too long it's almost what almost 15 minutes now so it's getting too long so let's just cut it right here and yeah that's it that's not it that's just a f portion of what Scalar can do love it if you don't have Scalar Go to Plugin Boutique and spend that $49. Yo, it's worth it. Trust me, it's worth it. If you don't know chord progression or don't know music theory, this is it. Alright? Let's get it.